Hello, uh, my name's Steve. I'm um, going to give you a quick run through of my recent presentation at the Digital Workplace Conference in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, I'm a Microsoft MVP in Office Service and Services, and um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, hub sites. So Microsoft released hub sites uh, way back in March 2018. Now we're at the end of March, I think it's the last week. Um, and I've been rolling them out globally since then with the final sites rolling out in the last few days. So hopefully uh, now you should have your hub sites available. Uh, before we begin, I guess also the hub sites themselves, uh, creating the hub site, that's done with a PowerShell command currently. Um, I've linked that to my website um, and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video uh, to, to take you to the commands that you need to do to create that. If you imagine um, a modern SharePoint environment, um, we've got a few things that are, that are, um, that are common these days. Is it's very flat to start with and secondly, um, sprawl is starting to happen. Um, over time, you could be working with large numbers of, um, of team sites as you join into a team, then leave a team, and then come back again later on, and so on. Uh, and also with comm sites as well, um, having a way of uh, sharing related messages back to uh, the, uh, people who are interested in the related content um, is something that people would like to be able to do often. A hub site itself is a way of uh, basically sharing the uh, navigation, the theme, um, and get grouping together related sites. <clears throat> uh, if anybody's worked in SharePoint for a while, you know that uh, one of the bigger challenges of, of SharePoint is, is when an organisation restructures and trying to uh, refactor your SharePoint so that it meets the new requirements of the organisation. Um, this is particularly challenging with things like navigation, grouping content together and so on, especially if your site's been there a while and, um, and, and thought wasn't put into those kinds of challenges before you started building. Um, that's often this the case. So in this example diagram here, I've got two sets of uh, hub sites or related content. Um, on the left-hand side, I've got a, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, a communication site and a team site related to a hub. On the right-hand side, I've got uh, two team sites and a communication site. So what happens if this organisation restructures? Well, that's when the challenge begins for the SharePoint administrator. They're often uh, asked, usually at very short notice, because uh, often they're the last person to actually to actually know, uh, and they usually ask to do this very, very quickly. When the new team in place, information won't be available to, to you until just before we want to actually make the change. So in this case here, what we've done is we've uh, switched two teams around, so the the uh, team working uh, on the left-hand side is now switched to the right-hand side, and the team on the right-hand side is switched to the left. But by using the uh, the hub um, functionality, we're quickly able to uh, disassociate from one hub and associate with another to get the common navigation, theming, and etc. and comms roll up. You'll also see that the poor old comms team on the right-hand end is no more, uh, so they've they've uh, been eliminated completely. Um, that's okay, they can be brought back at any stage and rejoined into the hub if, we, if they want to. Maybe that's a mistake, let's hope so. So, if we jump into SharePoint now, we can see um, in my SharePoint Online here I've got a um, <coughs> what's called a modern uh, hub site. You'll see I've called the site here Demo Hub Site. And along the top it's got a logo um, and some navigation and you'll see the dark blue theme. So how that's come about is I've got a under my hub site settings here. Once I've activated with PowerShell, I get these options. I'll, I've got the ability to add a logo, which is this logo which pops in up here, and also a name, which is the left-hand node of the global navigation. The theme is set through the uh, through this change the look feature here, uh, where I can select a theme from the list provided, or I can customize the theme if needed. Once a site is associated with a hub, it inherits both the global navigation and the theme and logo from the hub that it's connected to. If I jump into my modern team site, in fact, actually, I'll just leave that tab like that. I'll click into my new tab here. Um, in this tab here, you'll see it's got a bunch of news items. It's got the same navigation, the same logo, the same theme, but it's got a bunch of news items in here. Uh, you'll also see if I click connect over to this next site over here, um, in fact, actually, that one there is um, actually looking at the hub site rather than the team site. You'll see the team site news here is, uh, this is a modern team site, and over this one here is a modern comms site. So um, we've got the hero web part at the top here, but we've got some news roll-ups and so on happening, and a couple of events down here, um, the bridge meeting and the comms event. If I click back to my hub site, you'll see on the hub site here that I've got the, in fact, Clicking the wrong button, so the show. I know. Um, if I click on the hub site here, we you'll see that it's got the news that's rolled up here from the comm site. So it tells us which site it's rolled up from. 
uh, and also um, news that's rolled up from the team sites over here. I've got a couple of other interesting web parts. This one here is the, <coughs> the sites, web, sites web part. It's like a card uh, similar to what you would see in the SharePoint homepage, but this one gives you a list of sites that are related to that hub. So a nice way to share um, activity from the um, related sites. Because this hub site was created using a communication site as its, as its base template, it has an events web part in here. And you'll see this events web part is not rolling up anything. And that's uh, a, a little trap because actually this is the comm site web events uh, web part. And so it's looking at the local list within the hub site rather than sharing it from the global, uh, from the <coughs> globally across the hub. <coughs> and it doesn't have the ability to uh, this, what this particular web part doesn't have the ability to roll content up. So what I've used instead is down here a um, related content um, web part. So if I go and edit my uh, site here, so we'll just prepare this page for editing, and we can have a quick look at that, how that web part actually works. So I go down to this one here, and if I move my mouse over here and edit this one, you can see this is the highlighted content web part, and its source is all sites in the hub. You get the choice of picking from a particular location, um, but the default is all sites in the hub. You can also filter, so you can say from selected sites, which I think is quite useful. Um, you can also choose a layout down here, and you can filter by keywords and so on and change the sort order. We'll just cancel out of this one. We won't make a change to that. Um, while we're here, we might as well look at the news web part also. The news web part is um, a little uh, less sophisticated. So this web part here basically has... Uh, the ability to choose news from the local site, all sites, um, it doesn't have any filtering, um, which means that you can't do things like uh, show news items with a published date of a particular date and time, um, which is, I guess, a problem for people that are com using modern communication sites. Uh, there is a way to work around this. Final thing I just wanted to talk a wee bit about was a couple of little challenges you may have. First one is content is rolled up using search, so it doesn't appear immediately. Uh, the second uh, um, issue that uh, that you may uh, or question that comes up is can you connect to more than to multiple hub sites? No, you can't. You can only associate a site with one hub site at a time. Uh, you can't associate classic websites, uh, classic sites at this stage. It's only modern team and communication sites. Although you can actually link a uh, SharePoint Teams site to this as well. So hopefully this has been a, a useful overview of hub sites. Um, if you want to learn more, my full presentation is available for download from Share, um, SlideShare and also from uh, my blog I've got some PowerShell and other information about uh, SharePoint hub sites. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I look forward to talking to you on the next one soon.